All right, so what we're going to do now is we want to install OpenSSH um, and configure it. Well, there's not that much configuration to do, but uh, basically we want to be able to log into the shell from another computer, all right? So we want to log in remotely. Um, and there's a, there's a bunch of different tools you can do that with, um, but what I use is PuTTY, all right? So I'm going to open up PuTTY. And basically, you just want to put in the host and connect, and then you can log in, all right, from anywhere at all. Now, by default, this isn't going to work, all right. So let's try 10. This is the IP address of of the test server. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we get a network error, connection refused. Okay, so if we want to allow incoming connections, we can use OpenSSH. So to install that is really easy. We want to say sudo apt get install open dash dash ssh. Uh, actually, that might not be the right command. Okay, it's actually open ssh server ssh dash server yes all right so it is installed but um, if you get some kind of error about dependencies um, it may be because you don't have your your DNS name server set up and if you do get that then you just want to edit the uh, network interfaces file so sudo nano and just add in this line down here this DNS slash name servers and then uh, I have Google's public name servers and then uh, restart the network service and that should do it all right so now we should be able to log in remotely with putty okay so 10.13 all right so the first time you try to log in you're going to get this message um, asking if you trust the host or whatever so we're gonna click yes and then we get this window now this window is is in my Windows machine uh, this this isn't coming from the server I'm gonna log into the server okay so I'm gonna log in as Brad password and we're in alright so we're remotely connected to the server so if you have if you have a machine that's dedicated uh, for your server uh, whether you're at home or, or the office or whatever, um, it doesn't have to have a monitor anymore. You can just log in through uh, OpenSSH and do what you need to do. All right, so it's completely headless um, and it's just a, a big help to be able to do that. All right, so really, really easy. Um, that's how you can install OpenSSH and connect remotely to your server.